I make things go boom. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a variety content creator, meaning I like to cover a variety of things. And today we are going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV Online, a game that I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. You can catch me there every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For Final Fantasy XIV Online, we're going to talk about my class, my main class, which is a black mage. And I didn't know it when I first became a black mage, but being a black mage is not the easiest thing, okay? It's not. Let me give a backstory of why I became a black mage. I was invited to play by my partner and friends. And I asked them, okay, what is everybody? And a lot of them were like melee classes, not many casters. There weren't many casters in our group of people. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll be a caster. And at that time, I didn't know what a caster was. I just knew that I wanted to do magic. I was like, I wanted to cause damage with magic. That's what I knew. So I looked it up and then I saw there was like Thermoturge and Thermoturges become black mages. And I looked up what a black mage was and I was like, ooh, I, I like black mages. I like how it's described where they cause a lot of damage. I'm like, I want to cause a lot of damage. Heck yeah. So when I played the game Final Fantasy XIV, I got, I became a Thermoturge. I leveled up and then finally I was able to become a black mage and I worked on my black mage class and when you're working on your classes there are class quests and these class quests there's a story it's amazing each class has a story and you pick up a skill every time so as you level up you pick up a skill little by little that way you can get used to the skills, get used to the routine, the rotation. And what I mean by rotation, sometimes in different classes, we have like a rotation, a sequence of skills or moves that we need to do to optimize our performance. So for black mages, Thermodurge black mage, what we do is our rotation is normally thunder, fire, and ice. So the reason why we go Thunder, fire, and ice because thunder, which causes damage little by little over time, seconds. And then fire causes a lot of damage. You go ice because all this stuff causes mana points, magic points. And the great thing about being a Thermoturge or a Black Mage is we can replenish our MP by going ice. So we cause a lot of damage with fire and then we use ice to replenish our MP. Great, we don't have to use MP potions. We don't have to. Awesome, right? The only drawback about being a black mage is that the casting time. It does take a little bit longer to cast things compared to other casters. But as a Thermoturge or a black mage, you just gotta have confidence that you are causing a lot of damage. You have high critical hit rate. Even though you are taking longer to cast, you are hitting that enemy hard. So you just gotta believe in yourself that this casting is worth it. And it's only seconds, it's only a few seconds, but it, it feels like it's taking longer. <laughs> Later on, as a black mage, as you gain new skills, your skills actually kind of upgrade. Like there's like fire, one, two, three, four, etc etc same thing with ice and thunder eventually a black mage gets a ley lines ley lines is a type of diagram that we cast we are standing in it and it helps reduce the casting time so we can cause damage as fast as we can within the ley lines but then the ley lines only last for about 30 seconds you better utilize that now the drawback of having the ley lines is it is stuck in place. So when a enemy attacks us fellow black mages, we're like, crap, we need to get out of our ley lines. So 
at one point, we just run out of the ley lines. And then we run back into the ley lines. Later on, we get this ability that lets us latch onto an ally and transport to them. And we get another skill that lets us transport us back into the ley lines. That is amazing. Amazing. It really helps. The drawback of that is it's not easy to do with a controller. It's not. It's not easy to do that with a controller. As a black mage, one of the inside jokes is we take hits. We stay in place, we stay in the AoEs, and we just take the hit. And a lot of people get annoyed with that. Experienced players such as healers, when they see that they're in a party with a black mage, they're like, okay, there's a black mage here, so they might have to take a hit so they can cause damage to the enemy. They're understanding. While there are other players who aren't as understanding, and the common thought is, why are they standing in the AoE? Why are they not getting out of the AoE? Well, the thing is, we're casting. And if we move, it interrupts our casting. And we have to start all over again. Remember when I said that we have a rotation? Thunder, fire, ice. Now, at one point, this is an amazing thing. Black mages get this thing called Anal Chain. And this increases the damage by 15%. Like, holy cannoli, black mages already cause a lot of damage. And an increase of 15%? Fabulous. Ooh, you feel like a badass. Now, the thing is, Inochain has like a timer thing going on. And you have to switch off between fire and ice. Fire and ice 4. If a black mage does not pay attention to the timer, then once that timer runs out before we switch off to the next element between fire and ice, then the Inno Chain gets cancelled and we have to wait for the cooldown. Now, if you had the Inno Chain for a while, then the cooldown is already over. You can reactivate it. But the thing is, sometimes there are some situations where if we move, it interrupts the casting, right? And what if we needed that cast to keep the Eno Chain alive? What are we going to do? Wait for the cooldown so we can activate the Eno Chain again? Or we'll just stand there and take the hit after we cast? <laughs> Black mages have priorities <laughs> and everyone's a little different for me i like to just take the hit because i want to keep my eno chain alive i want to be able to hit the enemy hard as long as i can and you know what i got health potions ready i'm like i'm ready to take the hit i got it and i like to set my equipment with a lot of defense. A lot. So I can take the hit, you know? It's like, it's okay. I can take the hit. I got it. I got it. And you know what? Black mages, we do have a mana ward. This mana ward acts as a shield, which helps a lot. Thank God we have a mana ward. Thank God. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, developers who thought about black mages and their casting time and giving them that mana ward. Thank you. Now that I've talked about all the mechanics of a black mage, what I really want to talk about is being a black mage with a controller. Like I said before, it's not easy being a black mage with a controller. And I'm going to explain why. So sometimes when we need to go to a different hot bar. There's like multiple hot bars, multiple. For people with controllers, they need to like pull the trigger twice, like tap, tap, or they like hold one side, hold the other so they can access a different hot bar. 
top bars are usually put in like pairs. Pair one, pair two, pair three, pair four. And there's always a side for these buttons and these buttons. And to make sure we're pressing the right buttons, we have to hold down on the trigger. So say I'm using this side right here. I have to hold down on R2 and then press one of these buttons here. We have to be mindful of that. While people who play with a keyboard or mouse, they can just click, 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 click. Another thing about playing with the controller is selecting your enemies. Fortunately, with a controller, if we're holding on either of the triggers and pressing one of the bumpers, it will select the enemy for us. So it's like awesome, fabulous. And as a black mage, I like to hold on to this and then pick an enemy, attack, switch, attack, switch. I like to rotate the enemies too because I was taught if I concentrate on one enemy, that will throw off the tank. And I don't want to throw off the tank. I don't want to be the one who causes a mess up, okay? Here's the part where it's a little bit challenging for me. Remember when I talked about ley lines and there's a skill that lets us transport to a ally so we can get out of the AOE if the AOE goes on top of our ley lines? It's not easy selecting an ally with the controller. I haven't perfected that yet. And actually, I don't even try because it's <laughs> it's like, okay, I need to find an ally. But my allies are moving around, right? And I need to find an ally that's not in an AoE also. And I don't want to pick the tank because the tank is keeping the enemy's attention. So it's a little challenging for that. So what I do is I don't even bother transporting to my ally. I just run away from my ley lines. And when I see that it's safe, then I transport to it. <clears throat> so the transporting great. The transporting's great. It's just that it's not easy to transport to an ally, which I wish I could perfect better to make it easier for me because it would. It would it would make it easier for me. I really like being a black mage. I like knowing that I am causing a lot of damage. I feel like a badass, a pyro badass. I'm like, oh yeah, motherfucker, I'm black mage. I make things go boom. I like to say that. I like to think about that. So when I don't have the ley lines or triple cast, triple cast is another thing that speeds up the casting, but you can only use up to three spells within triple cast. Hence, triple cast. If I can't use ley lines or triple cast because they're on cooldown, then I do feel like it's taking a little bit longer to cast. But that's fine for me because I know that I'm causing a lot of damage. I am being a badass casting machine, okay? I make things go boom. <laughs> There is one point in the game where I totally lost confidence in my ability on being a black mage. And that was when I was fighting a character named Lord Xenos. It was the first fight with him. And it was a survival fight. And I didn't know that. And the key thing is to destroy one of his spears. So what he would do is in the border we're in in our stage you like throw down these spears and these spears all have aoe's and the aoe's overlap each other and i didn't know i could destroy the spears so i kept dying and dying and dying eventually someone told me like oh you need to destroy one of the spears so an aoe disappears and you can be safe in that non-aoe area i'm like oh what damn so Finally, I figured that out after someone told me about it. I tried to destroy a spear, but remember what I said that you gotta hold on to this trigger and then press the bumper? Now, yeah, well, that the target that's selected isn't what you have in mind. Sometimes it's a target that's like far, far, far from you. 
and it's like, shit. And you have to like rotate, 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 rotate. And you're like, oh no. So you have to like switch, 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 switch until it selects the target you wanted. And that takes time. That takes time. So I died because I selected a target too late. I selected a spear too late. I destroyed it too late. I died. Eventually, I finally got a system where I was getting it and I finally won. But bruh, my confidence in being a black mage was low. Lord Xenos humbled me hard, like so hard. My thing saying, I'm a motherfucking black mage, I make things go boom. I was like, I'm a black mage, I take a long time to make things go boom. <laughs> That was my thought after that. I'm like, oh no. And it was hard to get people who are sympathetic with me because there are people who have been black mages, but they didn't stay as a black mage. And eventually I did talk to people who were who also had a hard time. And it was people who were playing after me. So I was talking about with those who went through that already and they're like, oh yeah, you, all you need to do is, is do this, this, and that. Oh, it was easy for me. And they were playing as different classes. And I was like, it wasn't easy for me. And I didn't get that much sympathy from people. I just had people who were saying like, oh, you should have done this. You should have done that. I'm like, it happened already. What's done is done. I can't do that fight again. And... Why are you critiquing what I already did? I just felt a little lonely because I just didn't have people who understood where I was coming from. Like there were people who were like, oh yeah, it's not easy being a black mage, but it's like, yeah, you have these things saying like, I should have done this and that. But if you know what I should have done this and that, I feel like you should have understand how it felt at that moment as a black mage but i didn't get that fortunately i did have people who understood me who empathized with me and those are people who played after me people who got to that part and they asked me hey were you a black mage when you fought lord xenos i was like yeah i was a black mage when i fought lord xenos it was hard and they're like oh my gosh it was hard for me too and we were able to share our experiences. We were able to share our, oh, he was so hard kind of stuff. Like there was someone who related to me and uh, they asked like, how did you do it? I was like, brah, I died so many times. And I explained what I did. And I asked him like, how did you do it? You know, that was the type of stuff I wanted. Not, oh, you should have done this and that. Ugh. I don't mind being coached. I don't mind structural criticism. What I do mind are people who come off as you're so knowledgeable that what they say is God or something. And it's like, that's not helpful for me. You're actually making me feel like crap. And the thing is, they don't have any hard feelings. They don't mean to talk like that. They just don't realize how they're sounding. And I knew the difference because someone who actually did coach me, like show me what I could have done to make it easier for me. They showed me how to do it. They're like, yeah, it's not easy to be a black mage. So this is something you can keep in mind for the next fight. And it helped me so much when the person showed me what I could have done. Like they corrected me. They coached me. They coached me. And they showed showed it to me. So I could use it later. That's what I like. I don't like it when people go, Oh, you should have done this and that. And it's like... Okay. I don't understand what the F you're talking about. But okay. <laughs> I want other people who are playing... Final Fantasy XIV as a black mage with a controller. I just want them to know it's like, hey, you're not allowed. <laughs> it's not easy. But once you get your rotation down, 
once you get like your whole button combination down or a system, it is fabulous. Being a black mage feels so powerful. It's not the easiest, like I said before, but oh, it's so satisfactory when you see how much damage you're causing to that enemy. And when you see those special effects, when you see like that big ball of fire and it's just going like boom. It's just so satisfying. Oh, I love it. I love it. I picked up other classes because I was like, I'm kind of tired of the casting thing. I want something quick. And I do go back to being a black mage sometimes because I like the feeling. I like the challenge of the rotation, of trying to survive. I may sound like I'm panicking and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much pressure. Oh my gosh, so much anxiety going on. But I like that. Call me crazy, but I like that. <laughs> I like trying to survive and become calm during the dungeon run or the trial run. Trying to get better as a black mage because the more practice, the better I get. The better I get, the more badass I feel, okay? <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video about me talking about being a black mage in Final Fantasy XIV. If you guys have questions or if you have your own experiences, leave them in the comments below or we also have a Discord. The link for the Discord will be available in the description below. Most of the people in my community do play Final Fantasy XIV, so come on by. If you want to talk about Final Fantasy XIV, post some pictures, you got questions, come on by. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash lehulosuperfina. I mostly stream Final Fantasy XIV, so you can visit there too. You can talk about Final Fantasy XIV or other stuff. I don't always talk about Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Sometimes we just talk about all kinds of topics. It's whatever strikes us at that time. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. I'll leave a link to the podcast in the descriptions below. So if you like anime and manga, check it out. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this was the Super Fina channel talking about my experiences in Final Fantasy XIV online. I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Super Fina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.